good afternoon. So, it's been a beautiful morning, a beautiful day. Um, it's Sunday. I do what I do every Sunday. We got up and we went to church. And Pastor, his message this morning was on change, and it just keeps going through my mind and going through my mind, especially over the last few days of talking about time and, and treasures and values. And you know, last night I was talking about valuing the time I have, not doing things, but who I'm doing them with. And, this morning when he's talking about change and I'm kind of looking around the people at church and I've always been told church is a family you know and we we're the family of the Lord and brothers and sisters together and come home and I just had to look up scripture because it was just it was weighing in my mind and it was Hebrews 10 24 and let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works. And the first part of 25 says, Not forsaken the assembling of ourselves together. I've always heard that used as a reason to come to church. You know, we have to go to church. But actually, the church is the body of Christ. So, we are the church. So, why did we go to the building this morning? So many times I think, well, it's what you do on Sunday. Check it off. I went to church. I went to worship God. Oh, I do that every day. And then this morning it kind of just saw things in a whole different light. Of course, you know, we're a hugging church. <laughs> we uh, we greet each other. We people will give you a hug. And uh, this morning, it's just after this week. This morning, all the hugs and the praying for yous and the, you know, pray with me over this. And we're exchanging each other, saying, pray with me on this and I'll pray with you on that, kind of, you know. I really have come to realize the importance of being at church. It's not so much about the songs and the, the message and stuff. It's very important what God has to say to us, but it's also very important how we react to each other and how we treat each other and love on each other. I mean, Jesus tells us to love one another, and the church is the body of Christ. The scripture tells us God is love, so that means Christ is love. That means we are love. Loving and valuing and cherishing and going through this life together. It's so much easier to talk about someone than to talk to someone, I think, sometimes. Because if it wasn't, we wouldn't do it so much. Yeah. It's a lot harder to just love people through all their mistakes. It's a lot harder to forgive people when all we want to do is hold a grudge. But Jesus gave us the perfect example of that when He told us to love one another. The perfect example of forgiveness is when He asked God, forgive them for they know not what they do. And that was why He was on the cross. The very people that treated him horribly, he prayed for. God tells us to love everybody. And one of the golden rules I grew up knowing is treat others the way you want to be treated. Last time I thought about man, value on time I spend with people the value who you spend time with. This morning I realized the importance of being with others. And how important being a part of the church is. And I'm not talking about the building, I'm talking about people. Truly getting to know each other and helping each other. Being genuine in your I'm praying for you. And be genuine in 
here, I'm here for you. It's my lesson for the day. I think that's what God was really trying to, to speak to me. It's not just words. It's be true in your heart when you say them. That's a good lesson for me. Because words are easy, actions speak louder than words. Big time today to enjoy each other and value each other. Because we are to love each other. Not just the people we grew up with and we've known for years but even the stranger we meet on the street. Because we are all God's children. That's why I can sit here and say, I believe in you. I may never met you, will never meet you. But you are a child of God, and that makes you valuable. And that's how I can believe in you. Because God believes in you. And He loves you very much. Have a blessed day. God bless.